cheers to rounds. <laughs> that felt super awkward. Merry Christmas and welcome to Imperfectly Me Crafts. I'm Mallory Choose behind the camera and we are here at Frankenmuth Brewery in Frankenmuth, Michigan, home of the largest Christmas store in the world. We're here to check out the beer, check out the space and see what they got going on. Are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Imperfectly Neat Crafts. We are here at Frankenmuth Brewery in Frankenmuth, Michigan. This is home of Bronner's Christmas Store, which is the supposedly the largest Christmas store in the world. Having our lovely Christmas episode and lots of fun. And we're starting with round one. Obviously we, these are their flights. No. <laughs> This one is called The Hef. This is Choose Beer, so I'll do this one first because I know he wants it. You know, the smell isn't super strong. I'm getting the banana. I'm not getting the spice, but it's not like an overpowering scent. Cheers everyone to first beer at Frankenmuth. Whoa, flavor's huge though. Big on the banana. That's that's huge on the banana. Um, a little bit of spice at the tail end, but this one's very much banana forward. Oh, but very refreshing and a little sweet. That is nice. Oh yeah. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Well, you can keep it with you. <laughs> I, I don't think, I don't think the viewers will mind if Chew takes his beer back while I do the next one. <laughs> I have the Frankenmuth Scotch Connery. <laughs> Great name, first of all. Love the color, that dark copper, always one of my favorites. It smells like scotch. I definitely get that smell. Uh, not the peaty scotch, like a Highland scotch. The lighter, the floral ones, uh, Glenlivet, Glenfiddich, that kind of scent. Oh, put it in a sippy cup and send me to bed, because oh my god, <laughs> this is amazing. Wow, okay, you get the scotch flavor, you get the malts, uh, caramelized back to it. But there's a spice too, like a hidden spice at the end of the sip. It just kind of sneaks around the periphery. That is really fun. Beer is served very cold. I think as this one warms up, I'm gonna get whole new levels of flavors. And actually the half of Eisen is gonna do the same. Cheers to round one, guys. Oh, cheers.
And so here we are at Frankenmuth Brewery and we are ready to start second round. And I said it right that time. Go me! Wait, wait, wait. They messed up. They have blonde hot. It should be hot blonde. What about hot brunette? They don't have brunettes. <laughs> you dork. <laughs> we are going to start with the Red Sky Irish Ale. It's malt dominant, brewed with roasted barley to give it a deep red color. This brew features a robust and roasted malt. Ooh, it's more brown than I was expecting. And you know, it doesn't have a lot of scent. Oh, she wants his light. Ooh. Cheers to second round, everyone. Oh, wow. Big flavor again. This is similar to Wild Onion where the scent doesn't give away what the flavor is going to be. Uh, big flavor. And you know, I know they, they're talking about the, the barley and the malts and stuff, but I'm definitely getting a hop close on it. A very dry hop close. We ordered food too. They have food. Oh, that garlic mashed potatoes smells amazing. Anyway, so this one, yes, it's malt forward, has a super dry hop finish. Very traditional in the flavor. Just so you know, if there's random moments of applause, it's not because we're famous. Yeah, it is. It's because uh, we're in Michigan and Michigan is playing Ohio State. We are moving on. This is called Batch 69. This town is just off of Highway 69 that runs north and south through Michigan. 6.9% ABV, 69 IBUs, which I found amusing. <laughs> this beer will wake up your senses to fine American hops. Batch 69 exhibits nice, a nice bite and finishes off with pleasant notes of citrus and pine, which for Christmas. Perfect! Whoa. The scent has bunny feet again. <laughs> foots? Bunny foots. Bunny foots. Bunny foots. Uh, there's definitely a pine hop scent to the, the beer. Cheers. That's a lot of hop. That's a lot of hop. That one got me a little bit. <laughs> Uh, old school hops though, this isn't like the new crazy ones. Definitely has a bite, but in such a beautiful way and it has that resin pine flavor to it. It also tastes dark, not dank, dark. That is really nice. I would say three bunny foots. This is, this is a, a biggie for me for hops. Actually, my dad would love this one. This one is definitely right up there. This one is their Frankenmuth American Blonde Ale. Nice light color, nice and clear. I have a feeling this is gonna be like, you know, the macros, but better. I think this is so great for breweries to make because it really gives people an option if they haven't really discovered the amazingness of craft yet. This classic American style ale is made using American malts and fermented at a lower temperature to give it a clean, mellow finish. This is a terrific crossover beer. It says it right in their menu. And it smells slightly sweet, a little malty. I'm not getting hops on the nose at all. Cheers. Oh, crushable all day, nonstop. The gentle sweetness takes the edge off of everything. That's beautiful. It's so smooth. We are on to our last one, and I was really excited about this one. This is the Frankenmuth Hot Rocket Jalapeno Blondes. Fresh cut jalapeno aroma with a mild malty body and medium carbonation. It looks just like the blonde. <laughs> it just smells like jalapeno. That is crazy. Sorry, that made me really excited. I haven't had a jalapeno one that smelled this clean, like a fresh cut jalapeno. <laughs> oh, that is fun. <laughs> Oop, it, got it. it got me. It has heat, just a smidge. At the very, very back of the throat, you get a teensy bit of heat. You taste the jalapeno, you taste beer, you taste a, the sweet blonde like we just had. But there is a heat on the end, which I was not expecting. All of you from the Midwest, you have done your PBR chicken, correct? You put the beer can up inside the chicken, you cook it, because PBR always had more sugar and it tastes really good, very moist chicken. If you can do the same thing with this, holy crackers, that would be the best chicken ever. If you can restrain yourself from drinking it, 
using it in cooking would be really interesting. That is fan frickin' tastic. This is the end of second round. We're gonna do one more flight and we'll see you soon. Hello everyone. For Choose Challenge this week, we decided to do another one at home. We're going to be doing a Christmas trivia challenge because I don't know if you could notice from the footage so far, but Frank and Muth was busy when we were there. Any kind of challenge that we would have done in that space with that many people would have been detrimental to their business and we didn't want to interfere with their daily running. Three <laughs> Christmas trivia questions for our shots for this one, we are doing one from Frankenmuth Brewery. What? And this is their Christmas Town Ale. I'm super excited about this one. At the bottom it says, it's the most wonderful beer of the year. <laughs> this one is a 6%. It's 27 IBUs, toasted sweet dark malts, holiday flavors and aroma, unmistakable Christmas in every sip. Go ahead, take your top off. Sammy, you don't get to have any beer, you're underage. And we've got our shot glass here as well. And I believe we are ready for our first question. I got easy, medium, and hard questions. Ooh, okay. Which one do you want to go first? It's going to be like Jeopardy. Ooh, I want the hard question first. Hard question first? What year, according to Wikipedia, did Christmas start? And I'll give it to you in what century? The people start celebrating Christmas. And I'll give you, actually I'll give you two centuries. Okay, I'm gonna say 1200 to 1400. BC or AD? AD. Okay, 333 AD. Earlier than I thought? Mm -hmm. The first recorded incidents of Christmas being celebrated actually ate, dates back all the way to the Roman Empire. So you gotta drink. Frankenmuth Christmas Town Ale. Ooh, it smells like spice. Like a, a spiced amber. Ooh. Very malty, very caramely, and very spicy. Cheers, everyone, to Choose Challenge. I never get to drink. Oh, medium mouthfeel. Really, really nice. The spice doesn't linger too long and it has almost a bit of a bite to it. Ooh, that is special. Oh, I really like this beer. I might get the next one wrong. Okay, you better get the next one right just before I get to try. <laughs> no, you don't get to have any. All right, we got easy and medium left. Let's do the easy one. All right, so this is Christmas and German together. What tradition is practice with the Pennsylvania Dutch on Christmas, the young kids, they get up and they come down to the Christmas tree and they look for one certain ornament in the Christmas tree. And whoever finds that Christmas ornament first gets a special gift. What is that special ornament? That is the Christmas pickle. Yep. It's the, a pickle ornament. Yes, the Christmas pickle. So whichever kid finds a pickle in the Christmas tree gets a special gift first. Woo! All right, sweetie, you get to try this one. That is gingery. Not Maggie. I'm going to say it reminds me of pumpkin pie without the pumpkin. the pumpkin. Yeah, there's no pumpkin. It's all the spices of the pumpkin pie. But it's not super sweet. No, 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 it's not sweet. It's not one to one. One to one. Tiebreaker. Tiebreaker is the medium question. Yep. We celebrate Christmas on the 25th of December. According to Wikipedia, how many different dates get celebrated for Christmas? And I'll give you whatever you answer, you get one day either way. My answer is five. Five? The correct answer is bum, 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 four. December 25th, January 7th. January 6th Ew. and January 19th. Wow. So, four. So I got it then. So you got it right. You got a drink. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> Two gets drink. Oh, dang. I had to drink this beer. Yeah, me too. 
Say hello, Sammy. Meow. Hey, I won Chiz Challenge. We are starting out with the Frankenmuth Brown Hound Dunkel. I love me a dunkel. Classic Munich-style dunkel is a five-grain beer, smooth and light-bodied. 2016 World Expo of Beer Gold Medal winner in the dark lager category. Huh? Oh. Mm. Malt, roast, toast, caramelized, charred scent. Not charred the plant, like some, when something is charred, because that would have been a weird smell to throw in. <laughs> Much less sweet than most uncles. Hardly any sweetness. I don't, I don't taste any sweetness at all. You get the malt, you get the roast, but I mean, the sweetness is non-existent. Very, very nice, very traditional, very almost somber. It's a somber flavor, but I really like it. Next, we have Frankenmuth Mug Shot Stout. It is an oatmeal coffee stout, pleasantly intense, full body beer made with freshly roasted bluebell coffee beans from Water Street Coffee Joint in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Velvety smooth, they say. Mm. Oh, that smells like breakfast for me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oatmeal stout. It smells grainy. It smells baked. Mmm, that's nice. Oh, the flavor came across in a whole different way. So I got this hometown baked oatmeal kind of scent from it. When I tasted it, I got straight up stout. Like the alcohol came forward first and then the, the oatmeal followed, which I found really interesting because it's only a 6.5, it's not super strong. The stout side of this stout definitely hits harder than the rest of the flavor. There's a, what's the word I want? When it's fall football season and you're at someone's house and you're in the backyard and you walk past their smoker, you don't walk through the smoke, but you get the hint of that smell that's what I'm tasting on this beer. That's really fun. That took me a whole lot of places <laughs> growing up in the Midwest. All right, we are moving on to the third beer. What have I got? Ooh. Triple. Ooh, the third beer is triple. Oh, huh. I wonder who ordered these and who are smart enough to do it in that order or whether it's just luck. <laughs> This is their Frankenmuth Triple Vision Belgian Triple. Triple Vision Belgian Triple. Great frickin' name. How many fingers am I holding up? It just looks like you're flipping me off awkwardly. How many fingers am I holding up? Three. Nope, one. You got Triple Vision. <laughs> He's laughing so hard and he's like, okay, go ahead, go ahead. I said my joke, go ahead. <laughs> High gravity, bright golden color with a dense and creamy head. The aroma and flavor is complex. Slightly spicy with fruity esters and a sweet finish. It's only a little hazy. It's pretty clear actually. Ooh, that is pretty. Ooh. I smell banana. I smell cotton candy. Whoa. I smell sweetness and it, it surprised me <laughs> like a lot. And there's something else. There's a citrus, blood orange, caramel. There are so many scents going on in this one. That's craziness. Cheers. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. I just had a sip of Chardonnay. I just had wine like a dry white wine i taste grape skins the bitterness off of the grape skins comes across very clean 
I, I'm tasting the banana and the cotton candy and the bubble gum that I mentioned before in the scent. It definitely comes across grapey in this one. There is so much happening. There's like a malt thing too that rounds out the ending. It's a merry-go-round at the carnival is what that beer is. And there is so much happening there and it's so pretty. Nothing says a merry-go-round like wine, cotton candy, and gum. You know, I agree. I know which merry-go-rounds to go on though, so <laughs> we're on to the last beer of this round. The last one is called Para Slash Dime. It is a barrel-aged wheat wine ale. I have never heard of a wheat wine, the strongest on their menu. This is a wheat wine aged in bourbon barrels. Sweet and malty with an aggressive finish. You will be talking about this Para Dime shift long after it leaves the palate. I've never tried a wheat wine before, so this will be new for me. Ugh. Grains, gourds, like pumpkin or like squash. I'm smelling gourd. Caramel, I get that, that bite of molasses on the scent as well. And bourbon, of course. The bourbon is pretty strong in that. Actually, the bourbon's probably giving most of those scents I just named. <laughs> Cheers to the end of this round, folks. Chug it. Wow, I did not expect that at all. <laughs> wow, okay, I got full mouth of bourbon on the whole beginning of the sip, but when I taste a, a straight bourbon and I take a sip, when I swallow, I expect a little bit of that alcohol burn, none. I got to drink a straight bourbon without any burn just now. That's what this did for me. I was really, really impressed with that. It's so smooth. You get to drink your bourbon without having a, a burn or a really nasty hangover. I mean, it's still a 10%, but it's not nearly as strong as the bourbon would have been. Wow, it really infused the barrel flavor. Yeah, it did. It's beautiful. All right, I believe that is the end of this round. So let's see what happens next. We had such an amazing time at Frankenmuth Brewery in Frankenmuth, Michigan. I cannot wait to go back there. The space inside was beautiful. They have a dachshund theme for a bunch of their label art, which is super fun. It was all decked out for Christmas, which was even more fun. The beer was great. The people were great. I highly recommend you go there. If you liked this video, please like, share, subscribe, all the fun. Uh, don't forget to check down in the show notes. We are raising money to, for donations to St. Baldrick's Charity. We're going to be shaving our heads in March to help with children's cancer research. In the meantime, Merry Christmas, everyone. Cheers. Quit moving the camera, too. Three questions this time. Three questions. Yeah. Three Christmas trivia questions. Let me try that one more time. We're on to first round, second round, last call, extra innings. Who knows? Overtime. Overtime. <laughs> <laughs> All of this needs to be in the bloopers. <laughs> Yep, Derek, you now I got you in there too. Now smile! <laughs> and the kitty's not in it, so it's good. Aw, it's better without the kitty. Alright. You said stuff like that. You, you know, know that you know, you only pull that out on like three of the beers in a ten beer series. It's just yeah. silly at that point. It depends point. on what you say. <sighs> Let me look on your phone. Because the answer is, whoops, wrong channel. <laughs> My hair's doing funny things. Is my hair doing funny things? It's not? All right. So, you're a jerk. What?